Uh, yeah, hi YouTube. Long time no see. Um, the reason for that is that, that I'm quite uh, busy at work and, and I'll have a lot of things going on like a new driver's license uh, and all that stuff that I have to do. So, not so much time to pursue my hobby right now, but um, the last thing I did was um, thinking of a new relay card. Most of you probably know the relay card uh, that I made, well, quite a while ago, uh, I guess two years by now, or even three. And uh, I thought of a new relay card uh, that has a little more features and all that, although the problem is well, yeah, developing this out um, to a version that actually works is a lot of work and that takes a lot of time. So, it can take a while. Um, yeah, let's have a look uh, on the schematic. Well, this is the power part, which isn't actually very interesting, although there is a, a, a second power part because we need 3.3 volts here. And yeah, this whole thing is driven by an Atmega 169, which has an integrated LCD controller. And this is the LCD display, um, which can be used. And what's so special about the card is um, we have right here, this is, should be the real time clock, right? And there's a real time clock on there. Uh, which makes it possible to say the card something like, well, switch on Relay 2 at 1300 hours tomorrow, rather than saying switch it on in, well, 6 hours and 30 minutes, which makes the whole thing a lot more interesting to use, because you can uh, use it to really schedule, well, programs like, yeah, Monday at 2 o'clock and, and, and Tuesday at, at 1300 and, and so on. Uh, and there's a change in uh, the connectivity. Well, the main connectivity here is uh, an Ethernet, Ethernet controller, an N ENC uh, uh, 28J60. Uh, this is a uh, microchip. Um, controller with a Mac check, a magic check that has the, the transceiver already in the check. Um, Erda of course um, was something I used uh, with my old car already but um, I wanted to win features not lose them. And USB. USB is also a possibility. Right, not bus powered here because um, Powering this on a USB bus isn't exactly possible within the spec because the relays would use up way too much uh, energy, current. So here we are. Um, let's have a look at the layout. This is layout. Oh, took me a lot of time to to finish here because the layout is well. Quite complicated. Uh, this is the USB part, this is the Ethernet controller part, this is the display. Takes a lot of connections here. Those are the relays. Um, yeah, and this is the real time clock here with uh, the battery, lith lithium battery. Mm. The other part, right, power part. Well, that's just about it. That's not much more. This is the Ethernet jacket, the Mac jack, and this is the USB jacket. And yeah, let's render the mass. This is the whole thing with mass, rendered mass, round planes. That's what it. it oh yeah. And I already made this card. <coughs> it's in here. This is it. A little dirty from the solder finish, but um, and I had a problem with uh, the footprint of the Atmega, uh, which you can see here. It's well, was a little torn off. 
and but was still usable. It's a two-sided PCB, and that make, makes it a little more tricky to finish USB part. Yeah, and this is where the relay go. Yeah. One other thing about the new relay card is I had to make myself a new footprint for the, those industry relays that I bought some a while ago. It's those relays, and they're very heavy duty relays used in industry. A little more, they are a little more well sturdy. Can probably a lot can probably handle a lot more cycles than standard relays. This is also the main reason you see those relays are very large by comparison with standard relays. So this is one of the reasons I have only four relays on the card. But now comes the tricky part. Um, it's right here. Now this is something that uh, shall act as an expansion slot. So there's actually a power line here. here, And there's a I, I square C two wire uh, bus on, on this on this jacket so it's possible to relatively easy design an add-on board right that you just connect here and the add-on board is probably yeah it probably has its own controller but this can be a very small controller like an Atmega 88 or something like that or even 84 uh, 48 and then you can make a small board sort of like dimension like this and um, yeah connect another four relays, another eight, whatever. <clears throat> and this is it. Um, this is uh, one of the things that is special about the card. It should be exp uh, expandable. Yeah, but making this ha happen is, is, well, this is version 3.0, I guess, and this is version 2.0. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. I'd appreciate it if you drop me a few lines, what you think about the project, and what I'm really interested in is um, whether this is an idea that could work for you, or... My, I mean, I realized that some people drop me lines about my relay card, and uh, since this is a, a, a better relay card, a, a way better relay card, makes a lot of work, though. Um, what I want to find out is what you think about it, and if this is something you would use, or would want, and maybe you could help me a little, whatever. Yeah, this is it. Um, let's see what we can make out of this idea. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'm still on YouTube, and I haven't forgotten you. I hope you don't forget me. And I'll be back with new videos from time to time. So, thanks for watching, and thanks to all of my subscribers. Uh, well, yeah who show interest in, in my work and yeah this is it for now see you soon